I'm 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Colleen Campbell. We are your hurricane headquarters. Let's get an update on the tropics as we are just three days away from that season peak on September 10th. And many of you have wrote in and said, why have the tropics been so quiet? It has started to quiet down. Yes, and we were forecasting a busier than normal season, but busy doesn't mean impactful. And if we don't get another major storm, I'm OK with that. But let's break down a few reasons why we could see things that have been quieter lately. First of all, we haven't had a name storm since Ernesto. Ernesto formed around August 12th. So here we are just approaching the peak of the season. And here's a couple of things that could be leading to things being quieter lately. First of all, we have a wind shear that's been running higher than normal. Tropical systems are stack systems and they need winds that are very light to keep the motion going. But the winds have been picking up the speed in the upper levels of the atmosphere, just tearing apart these storms. Also, the tropical wave train in that main development region has been running a little bit further up to the north. So what it's doing is it's encountering cooler water as well as Saharan dust, and that's two other factors that's messing with these storms forming. Also, we have warmer air aloft, so higher up in the atmosphere. We have air that's warmer, and again, these systems, although they do like that warm water and warmer air, they uh, need some cooler air to get these storms going and continue to rise, right? And then it only takes one storm. Keep that in mind. The season goes until end of November, so although it has been quieter lately, doesn't mean the rest of the season will be that way. We're starting to see winds that are starting to calm down a little bit. That's one of the factors here on this list that has been leading to that quieter season. So let's get to what we're watching right now. Here's your tropical update. So a couple updates here, three systems that we have our name or eye on right now. None of them have been named at this time, but let's start with the first one. We're going to move from the left to the right. So Bay of Campeche, we have this area of low pressure that has a 60% chance of development in the next two days. Over the next week, we could see it develop into a tropical depression by early next week, middle to next week, and that if we do get a tropical storm out of that, which again is a possibility, we could have our next name system. Again, we haven't had a name system since Ernesto. Now we're moving over into the Central Atlantic Basin. We have two systems that are kind of back to back these waves that are coming off the coast of Africa. That's that main development region, but as I mentioned, it is has been running a little bit further up to the north where these storms are shooting off the coast of Africa, running into cooler water and really falling apart in Saharan dust too. Uh, so these two systems as of right now have a medium chance of development 40 to 50% over the next week. This system right here, the one that's a little bit closer to me, that has a 30% chance in the next two days. So it's really the one that's closer to the Gulf of Mexico that we are going to watch to see if we get our next name system, which would be Francine. Now, these are areas of investigation, Invest 91L. So although it doesn't have the name of Francine, it does have the name of Invest 91L because it has just enough tropical characteristics that we can get spaghetti plots on this. And what that does is give us an idea of the general path that this is forecasted to take. So once we get this system to be named to a tropical depression, we could see it continue to climb up the coast here of the Gulf of Mexico and eventually around Texas, Louisiana, we have to be on the lookout. But this is days out. This is a forecast. Keep that in mind. We're going to jump over to Invest 92L. That's that other system that's in the central Atlantic Basin. Not as many spaghetti plots here because, again, this is early run on the models. But this one looks like it wants to travel out to the west as well, to the northwest too. Uh, and again, it's a very slow moving system, very disorganized at this time, but if we get did get a name system, the next name on the list would be Francine. So we're going to keep an eye on that one that's over by the Bay Campeche right now. So far, no developments, but of course, we're always keeping you connected online here and we appreciate you tuning in.